Hey folks, this is Fracture and I welcome you to Let's Play Divine Divinity, the casual edition. This is a huge game, I may not finish it. I just felt like playing it, and I figured I'd record it while I did. And I'm going to play it the way I normally play these kind of games. I'll be skipping over dialogue that I already know and that sort of thing. So, And I won't be putting in the sort of editing effort that I usually do on my Let's Plays. But if you're interested, you can watch over my shoulder while I play the game. So let's get started. Gonna start with a fighter, and I prefer the male fighter starting skills, otherwise male and female are basically the same in this game, as far as I know. I am strong, as a man should be. The strength of my body and my skill with weapons are all I will need to defeat the many f And we start waking up not knowing why we're here and all our equipment is missing. So let's just clear out this room. There's a weapon. Nowhere to go but up. Oh, I'll turn on the mini map too. There we go. Ah, my friend. You're awake. My name is jo You're welcome. And you're in my you mean apart. Yes. Oh, that's good of you, my follow the street out. Ah, uh, before you Oh, you're very he lives in the south. So I played this opening segment. That's who I was talking to. He was out of my line of sight. I've played this opening segment so many times I can't stand to hear that dialogue yet again so I'm not gonna gonna bother these are just contained books and what that guy just told me is you know um, a white cat led him to my body and he carried me back here but he couldn't carry my equipment so I was welcome to take anything I wanted to from his house he also mentioned Mardanius to the south um, is going nuts, so that's our first quest. Why is he going nuts and can we fix him? And there's also a guy that owns a store to the sort of the southeast. Mardanius, my poor old... So the old guy has gone nuts and he's talking about somebody called Theleron or something like that. So let's head on south and we'll make that our first item on the agenda. Mortanius, my friend. Oh, oh dear. Doom and destruction. No. Uh, no. So he's crazy enough. He mistook his friend for this Theleron Hashnator and froze him solid. And the, the door is locked. locked. So we can't use that entrance. Even if you're a thief character, you can't get in that door. And the other thing the guy at the opening scene mentioned was this store. So let's have a visit here. You can't do that. You look, look at you. Okay. As the game progresses, I'll do less skipping. <laughs> less skipping. Da 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 da. Skipping. I'll do less skipping over the dialogue. Um, just because I won't know what it is as we get further and further into the game. For now, I'll just tell you what it was. So the guy that owns the store owns the guy owes the guy that rescued us 500 gold. Um, just because the economy is bad, but that was his drug dealer just left. The guy's a druggie. He's hooked on weed, and that's enough of an excuse for me to rob the store. I'll I'll bend my morals. I'm playing a good character, but we'll we'll bend the rules a little bit for this guy. And here we're just asking him what was the big fight about, and he's asking us to go steal some weed from a buddy's garden. And I said, well, I don't know what the weed looks like. So he says, oh, well, I'll show you something I have in my bedroom. And that gives us an opportunity to ro rob the store. Now, each time you open these containers, they contain different things. It's randomized. I don't know at what point it's randomized. Uh, start of Brilliant. the level or start of the game or what. Sometimes you get really handy stuff, sometimes not so much, like now. There it is, next to the table. So he's referring to the weed. Whoops. Clicked on it. And here's the weed that he wants us to find. So you can play a really good character and not rob the store, but just by refusing to even collect the weed for the guy, saying, hey, if the guy's not going to give it to you, there must be a reason. But I choose to be slightly bad because I get a discount on his wares now 
plus I got all the stuff I found in his store. You can also sell all the stuff he found in his store immediately back to him. I guess his memory shot. So, since we need to get in this house, this is the way in. Let's hop down the well. Nothing around here. If you point at containers, they tell you if they contain anything, which is a real time saver. Wish all games did that. <coughs> if you're not, if you don't currently have a weapon equipped and you click on an enemy, it will equip it for you. And if you click on a barrel that you could have opened and you have a weapon equipped, it'll use your weapon and degrade it. So you don't want to do that. That's the wrong button. C is the button to unequip your weapon. See now if I click on a container, it just opens it. No weapon involved. Of course if the container is locked and I click on it, nothing happens. It's mm. locked. It's locked. So I have to equip a weapon. But if you can avoid degrading the, your weapon, at least these early ones that you get that have very little durability, it's best for you to remember to unequip your weapon before searching things. You can just walk through normal gates, but if it's locked, you actually have to click on it with... Ha! And if you have the key in your inventory, it will use it. Opportunity for me to take a slurp of beer. this stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so are you alright? What's wrong with Mardanius? Some sort of demon? Is there anything we can do to save him? Some sort of catacombs? So how do I get into them? Face all the dragons north. Well, that's unusual and cryptic. Tell me about Alaroth. Mardanius founded it as a community of healers. Can I take some of your herbs? And you can ask him to heal you, but he'll charge you 150 gold. If I hadn't asked him to borrow these herbs, well, borrow, take permanently, another character comes along and asks why you're stealing from the guy's garden. I don't think there's any downside to that. You still end up with the herb, but just buy it asking there, you can avoid the whole issue. So these empty vials are used in alchemy. This book tells you that if you use an empty vial with the appropriate alchemy skill, which I don't have at the moment, on red plants gives you healing potions, on blue plants gives you mana potions, on yellow plants gives you stamina. Stamina affects your fighting skill, your running speed. And green plants, some green plants, not every green plant, obviously, uh, is for poisons. So here's some of those herbs you wanted. And if you, he says, I haven't forgotten as a token of my gratitude, I'll give you a discount. And whoops, if you click here, it's the trade. And let's see what we have. So apparently I'm getting a discount. I didn't check beforehand, but I'll believe him, I guess. Um, early in the game, can pretty much use any weapon that I have the skill to. We may as well get rid of that emerald. I doubt I'll be using bows. Just want to unload some of this stuff. So 268. Let's get some potions. 64, uh, 128, 256. Yeah, that'll do. So we'll take all of those. And then balance just adds in gold. And you can also come to this guy for repair and identifying items. And I will return. Okay, so I've got a couple of uh, potions, which are going to be necessary. Now, we could do this one. Well, let's get this the dragon thing taken out of the way. And here's a cat. And remember, a cat rescued you. If you're nice to this cat, it starts following you around in town. It doesn't become a nuisance. You don't have to protect it or anything. 
but I believe that's the cat that actually saved you. And it just happens to be in the way at the moment. You see how it's following me now that I petted it? So I'm facing all the dragons north. Brilliant! So this guy's handed me a little pyramid, and I asked him what it was. He says it's a teleporter when you have two of them. You can teleport between them, but he doesn't know where the other one is. And he doesn't recommend just using it to find out, because I might end up surrounded by orcs or something. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to find the other half just in my travels. So before we head down there, though, this is the catacombs that were mentioned just a moment ago. We're going to do another quest while I recall. There's another quest in town. If we go in here, there's a wounded soldier right over here, Simon, and a healer. Now we could be mean to this guy. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, but let's just skip that one. And he talks of the source, which I guess is healing energy, has been ruined. And the healing shrine that usually dispenses healing gems only has one left. And there is apparently another sick soldier. So this healer has a sick soldier. And then there's another sick soldier with the healer to the north. But they're stuck with inaction. Neither of them can heal their soldier because that would mean the other one, the other soldier will die for lack of a healing gem. So they're stuck with inaction. Sounds very Asimovian. But I'm just looking for this. This sentient healing shrine will give me the last remaining gem if I ask. Unfortunately, which soldier to heal? Well, yeah, there's actually a trick. And you can heal them both. I honestly don't remember how I figured this out the first time. Whether it was reading a playthrough or if I figured it out for myself. I don't believe that's the house I want. I am looking for a warehouse-like structure. And I believe that's the house. Is this it? This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. Appear not. That might be the right house. There's a hidden key here. And if I look at these,